All right, so let's say you have your STL file open, right, and you're ready to print. You go File, Export, CAD Format. All right, now a couple things I got to point out here. Not, we don't leave it a drawing file. That's always the default file type. We always change that to an STL file. Step files are ones that are uh, also usable. Now, on Fusion 360, I think this looks a bit different. Fusion 360, I think you can actually print right from the software. I think you can in this as well, but um, I've never really done that. So it'll call it whatever the name you saved it as, and it'll name it that .stl. All right, but don't just hit save yet. The first time on your computer that you do this, you got to hit options. All right. We change a couple things in here. We change the resolution to high. All right, change to high. And then the units, we have to change to millimeters. The 3D print software operates in millimeters. This outputs this, even though we did this all in inches, um, your, your design, when it outputs the STL file, it converts it to metric. And let's say it was 10 centimeters long. It doesn't put a unit on it. It just calls it 10 units long. So if you're, you're, the default here is millimeters. So maybe 10 centimeters on the computer, but when you go to bring it into the 3D print software, it interprets it as 10 millimeters. I mean, for like two years, we just would always scale it up in the 3D printing software. And never, we never knew what was going on. But finally, I, I looked into it and. It's the, the default has to be millimeter when you export it. All right. Uh, high millimeter. Those are two things we change. You hit OK. And then you hit save. Uh, just save it right in the same folder that you've been doing, saving your models in. Then you have them all. I hit save. Now, the, the final thing we do here, all right, if we're in school and we want to 3D print this, at least for the first semester, I'll be helping you set up the prints on that side of the room. Now, as you guys get good at doing doing this, you will set up your own prints. And you can do it right from your computer because it has the software. But for now, what I'm going to tell you is throw your STL in student share. If you're a full remote learner, you'll, you'll put it in your Dropbox on Google Drive. Um, so when I say throw it in student share, you go, if you're at school, you go in here, you click this PC. Now you should see student share in the middle there. And if you don't, I'll have to come around and help you get that identified and set up. All right. So double click student share up at the top. I think, I think this is more in Mr. Tamaj and we have a competition of whose is going to be first. I, you know, so I put an one in front of it which bumped it up to the top. They put a period in front of it, which bumped theirs up to the top. So I'm okay with that. Oh, one Harmon. Uh, and then engineering one. All right. Student share engineering one. And we're doing the uh, STLs print folder. You'll also find stuff in here about different um, projects that we do. All right. These are the main three, five, of the main projects are in here. This folder is also important, the print profiles folder. I have settings in here that you'll use on a couple of the printers for to get to get started. All right, so right here we go. STLs to print. Or it says project two, but I've been making this my first project. And this is a blank folder. Now, then what you got to do? This is a skill. It's a little Windows trick you have to know how to do. Um, you do File, Open New Window. All right. You can't save things directly to Student Share. You don't have that permission in the network. Students don't. So you have to go and uh, find the folder where your where your STL file is. And once you do this once, you know it it'll save it for you. So I you know I lost track of where I saved that file so let's see here uh is it in my inventor files holy cow i got a ton of parts 
I forget where I saved this part one it was, train body, that's the IDW. I don't know. Um, look, here's something I made for my daughter. So just, you know, you find it in whatever folder you saved it. I didn't pay attention. If you forget which folder you saved it in, you can just go back to here, file, export, CAD format, and then, oh, okay, that's where it saved it to. Engineering 2, train car. Okay. So now I can go and find it and figure it out. So I, I did file, new window, so I have two windows open. Um, 2020, Engineering 2, train car, there it is, trainbody.stl. I have the other window open, and I drag and drop it in there. And now we're ready to go. So Aiden's got one in there. Oh, that's great. See how Aiden put his name in that? That's awesome because otherwise, when we go over to the computers to try to do this, we're not going to know whose is whose and we're going to have a problem, right? And that'll be it for now. I will uh, 